Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 369. In today's episode, Facebook now lets you share how they wish lists. Facebook wants to help you with your holiday shopping. They've introduced a new feature that allows users to share and collaborate on collections of saved content with their Facebook friends, allowing them to share holiday wish lists with friends and family. In addition to the ability to view the content, your Facebook friends will also be able to add to the shared collections. Facebook stated, if you create a collection of products, a holiday wish list of sorts, you can share it with a group of hand-selected family members on Facebook to give them ideas of what gifts you'd love to receive for the holidays. If you and a group of friends are planning a holiday party, one of them can create a collection called Holiday Recipes and share with each person helping to plan. Those invited can add holiday recipes they've discovered on Facebook and save in the shared collection, end quote. According to Facebook, sharing has been a highly requested feature. Daily users of the collections feature number in the millions, according to the company. The goal, of course, is to keep Facebook users highly engaged with content and marketplace partners and to eventually make Facebook more of a shopping destination and a driver in the social commerce space. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't roll this out sooner. This actually yeah. just came out. I mean, by the time this podcast hits, it's already kind of old news, but I figured it was worth pointing out. I'm just wondering why this wasn't put out like around Thanksgiving. Like, yeah. Why would they wait you until... Think, right? It's it's really strange. And it is would, strange. I mean, obviously, you know, Amazon has those wish lists, but you don't have to, you know, use Amazon for everything. Well, I think that's the point here. And what they've done, it's actually pretty neat because I use this, I use the save feature on Facebook, mostly on mobile. I used to save a lot of recipes, like when the tasty stuff was out all the time, where I'll save a funny video. But now when you have these collections, you can create a collection of recipes and you can share them with someone. And it's common sense, especially when you're looking at, at another platform like Pinterest, who excels at this. Pinterest is so good for planning or putting things together or creating mood boards or things like that. I think Facebook's kind of like, duh, like we're getting left out in the cold here with this kind of stuff. Because now with Pinterest being able to shop through Pinterest, I, I just don't see people saying, oh, I bought it on Pinterest, but I, do you see, do you see people saying I bought it on Facebook and that's mm. where they're, they're falling behind? Uh, not yet, but they might. Well, so, not, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like, they're not there yet. They're not there yet. And I think like, they need to kind of consolidate and, organize how information is shared. And this is, this is a good step. The next step will be doing a lot of what they've done with Instagram, where and we talked about this last week, where they have the collections and shop owners can create collections and put things together. You have pages where you can shop from pages on Facebook. So if you, you're a guy who owns a t-shirt company, you have a page and you can shop from that page. It's so hidden. You actually have to go to the profile. And that is one thing that Facebook lacks is because you're constantly in the, in the, in the stream. It's always right. about the stream, the stream, the stream. You don't stop and go, Oh, I want to check out Joe's t-shirt page. You have to stop and go look at his profile and then dig through all the stuff and options that is on his page to find out actually where the shop button is. And I think they, they need to bubble that up further so that you can shop a little bit easier. Well, that's the hope. And the, from what we saw, it might be coming. I think Facebook's got a lot of work to do. I think they've over-featured everything. <laughs> it's, it's, it's everything. They want to do everything. But when you do everything, you're not good at, you're not good at all of it. And no. I think the future, and we say this perfectly selfishly, is the future is e-commerce. That's, that's where the money's going to be. And, you know, and if you've got people spending so much money on ads... And it drives them, you know, it drives, I mean, it drives a lot of traffic. A lot of people can, if they do Facebook ad campaigns, right, you can make a lot of money. But I think for the common person, 
who was just, I'm just putting some recipes together for a holiday party, having more cues to purchase and making that, that, that process a little easier is only going to help them. Yeah. I mean, the, the process for them is should be easy, right? They can do those cues and put it out there, which is not, un, I don't get why they're still so behind on it. Yeah. Because social networking, it's not about how many users you have anymore. It's who's buying on there and what kind of buying power do these people have? Mm-hmm. That's what that's, it's, it's no longer just, Oh, we've got the most eyeballs. It's, what are these eyes? Hopefully these eyeballs are connected to a thumb that knows how to pay for something because that's where, <laughs> that's the only way anybody's going to make any money in this. Exactly. And we're talking about Facebook. It's not like they're going away, but I think, as yeah. I said, they've got a lot of work to do on, on their, their features. And uh, hopefully this will move a little forward. Correct. All right. You got anything else? That is it, sir. All right. Full show notes are e-commerce minute.co. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.